Conversion, fundamentals and the difference between single pass and overall conversion. The concept of conversion is used for processes in which chemical reactions take place and is defined as follows. Percent conversion of component A equals moles of A reacted over moles of A fed multiplied by 100. Obviously, component A must be a reactant in the process. Moreover, it is important to note that a conversion can be calculated for each reactant. Let's see an example. In this example, there are two reactants. Let's apply the concept of conversion to both of them. The symbol that we use here for conversion is F. A different symbol might be used elsewhere. When we apply the equation for calculating the conversion to carbon dioxide, we find that the amount in moles reacting is just the difference between the amount supplied to the process and the amount of unreacted carbon dioxide that leaves the process. This difference comes to 10, 10 moles a second. For hydrogen, 30 moles a second react. Therefore, we obtain a 10% conversion of carbon dioxide and a 30% conversion of hydrogen. We see that in this concrete case, each reactant has a different conversion and we distinguish between them by using a different subscript for each component. However, there are a few exceptions to this. Sometimes, chemical engineering problems state the conversion but not the component to which it refers. This happens when the conversion corresponds to the limiting reactant. In our example, it would be correct to say that the system conversion is 30%, since hydrogen is a limiting reactant in this case. On the other hand, it is very important to know the relationship between conversion and extent of reaction. In this case, the extent of reaction is 10 moles a second. The conversion of both reactants in our present example may be expressed in terms of this quantity by making use of the stoichiometric coefficients. The numerator in carbon dioxide's conversion, mole reacted, can be expressed as its stoichiometric coefficient multiplied by the extent of reaction, xi. The result of the calculation is obviously the same as before, 10%. Now, invoking, invoking the same reasoning in the case of hydrogen, we find that the numerator must be three times the extent of reaction, since its stoichiometric coefficient is three. Let's now look at how the conversion is calculated when two reactants are supplied in stoichiometric proportion. In this case, the extent of reaction is 25 moles a second. Therefore, the conversion of carbon dioxide calculated using this quantity and carbon dioxide stoichiometric coefficient 1 comes to 20%. For hydrogen, with stoichiometric coefficient 3, it also comes to 20%. Therefore, we see in this particular case, with the reactants provided in stoichiometric proportion, that the conversions of both reactants are equal. This will always happen provided that the reactants are supplied in stoichiometric proportion and also provided that they are not separated into different streams at some point in the process. In this situation, it is not necessary to know which reactant the conversion refers to since its value is the same regardless of the reactant used to calculate it, i.e. the conversion in this example is just 20%. We now turn to the difference between single pass and or overall conversion. This distinction is necessary when a portion of the exit stream of the reactor is recycled back to the inlet. In this case, the fresh feed to the process, stream A, enters in stoichiometric proportion. The definition of conversion is the same as before, moles reacted over moles fed, but changes slightly in the denominator. For single pass conversion, we need to add in to the reactor after moles fed in the denominator. On the other hand, for the def definition of overall conversion, we need to add in to the system after moles fed in the denominator. Single pass and overall conversion differ exclusively in the den denominator. Single pass conversion refers to the moles of CO2 fed to the reactor, whereas overall conversion refers to the amount of carbon dioxide fed to the system. Same numerator, different denominator. The extent of reaction for the process, xi, is the same regardless of the conversion being referred to, as explained in another lecture. Let's look at the results for the present example. The extent of reaction is 25 moles a second. Therefore, the single pass conversion is 20%, but the overall conversion comes to 100%. This can be put in another way. The, re the reactor converts 20% of the CO2 fed to it. Therefore, 80% remains unreacted. Since the system contains a separation unit after the reactor that is able to separate reactants from products, any unreacted carbon dioxide and hydrogen are recycled back to the reactor. Since no reactant leaves the system, 
the overall conversion has to be 100%. To conclude, we show that hydrogen's conversions, single pass and overall, are the same as carbon dioxide's. Since they were supplied to the process in stoichiometric proportion, it is again not necessary to specify which component the two conversions refer to.